Deputy. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary, thank you very much for a very good debate there. And we're going to go to Hukura funding. And I'd welcome uh, James and Alistair, who have managed to be in control of this here, to us and pr provide us with, uh, assuming that we've read this, um, what we're going to debate here. Thank you very much. Tenakoto. This report is to seek approval for an annual funding agreement with, between the Council and the Hokura Independent Māori Statutory Board for the coming financial year. Uh, Council is required to have a funding agreement with the Independent Māori Statutory Board and uh, to fund its reasonable costs. The funding agreement covers the operational costs of the board and uh, a total funding package of three million uh, thirteen thousand. 500 is recommended this year. Uh, this is slightly less than last year, and last year was even, well, it was slightly less than the previous year. Um, this covers the core costs of the board in terms of the board remuneration and expenses, staff costs, seeking external advice, communication, and audit and other ex expenses. Um, the other part to this that is recommended is that there's a facility for the Chief Executive to approve up to 50,000 in addition if there are minor changes sought um, during the year and that avoids the need to go come back to this body to renegotiate the agreement if there's a small change that's needed. Um, having said that, we have had this um, facility in every previous year and it has never been called on. Um, I'm happy to take any questions. Councillor Turner. Thank you. I had this all marked up, but lovely Nexus took it away. Somewhere in, in this, in most cases, it says direct funding. Uh, direct, it, it uses the word um, direct costs. We're funding direct costs. Um, I can't find it again. Um, but that word direct, is, uh, is there some indirect funding that we're giving to, is there? Through the chair. Um, this is, yes, this is not including funding that is um, sort of in, you could say there's in-kind services that Council provides through um, our finance team and um, HR and uh, those sorts of corporate services. So there's no money that changes hands in that those transactions. And the other set of indirect funding is funding where Council pays for um, things directly on behalf of the IMSB, and that is um, things like their property and insurance costs. So, so do we have a value, of, do we have a figure on the value of that? I didn't see it. Uh, yes, sorry, it's, it, it is in the context section of the report. Uh, so That's okay, then I'll look it up, thank you. Councillor Watson. Uh, yeah, just a, a couple of quick questions on um, the board remuneration and expenses. Uh, is is that figure um, a fifty-two thousand? Is that just remuneration, or or are there expenses there? And if so, what what are the expenses? Uh, through the chair, there are expenses in there, but I I do not have a, a breakdown of that. I've not. Okay. Um, Oh, oh, oh. I'd also note that that um, figure is subject to any changes to councillor remuneration for, through the re annual um, remuneration authority determination because um, Hokura IMSB members are remunerated at 70% of councillor remuneration. Okay, okay. So um, is, is there any explanation why that, why that figure has... Um, or has It hasn't gone back, has it? No. Okay. So just just on that, with with councils and local boards and all the rest of it, they or they list out what all the various payments are. Is there a reason why that's not listed out for for the for, for the board members in, in the same way? So um, you know, so it's it's publicly available. 
um, through the chair, no reason um, we could ask that that is split between direct remuneration and and sort of other expenses. My understanding is the expenses are um, you know typical parking type expenses, nothing significant. But we could ask for that to be split out. Okay, so if that so that aside from the expenses, that's um, that remuneration split ups on a on a pro rata basis. I assume for the the nine members, aside from the deputy and the chair. Yeah. Okay. So, so what 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 are we looking at then per member? Is that is that something like um, what eighty eighty five thousand per the, the the seven members and the chair and deputy one point eight and one point two. So maybe one hundred and fifty and one hundred and six. Is that is that the figures that we're dealing with? I'm just trying to work out and and equate it to the 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 elected members in Auckland Council. Yeah, through th through the chair, I I think that your um, estimates are about right there, based on the on the proportion of councillor rem that this is based on. Okay. Thank you. Councillor Darby, then Councillor Walker. Thanks, Mayor, and th um, thanks, James and Alice there. Um, I noticed that under the, um, uh, what's it termed, sorry, um, the um, service level agreement, um, that's where the accommodation costs are located, they're not in the main agreement. Mm -hmm. Can you just explain, when I look at the legislation under Schedule 2, the way I read that, I would assume that the accommodation costs are actually under the main agreement. So what is the rationale that is being relied upon to have those separated out under the, um, the service level agreement? Um, through the chair, stretching my memory, I think um, the original intention when this was done was to identify what were the sort of um, uh, operational costs um, allocated to the activities of the board as opposed to the um, areas that supported the more the back office stuff um, to bring a bit of transparency as to to the funding required for them to undertake their activities I think that was the original rationale okay, okay. Um, in the future it'd be really good to see like the total the, the um, service level agreement and the funding agreement you know absolutely together that's my preference I know it's mentioned in the in the um, paragraph narratives but I think it's really good to read it a, a, as a total as well um, though I acknowledge you've made some effort towards that in the report so in terms of um, can you tell me how Ho Kura has participated in council's group shared services over the last um, year or 18 months since we instructed that, and also the property optimization uh, programs. Have we um, requested that they um, participate in group shared services and the optimization program? Um, Councillor, I'll, uh, I'll handle that. The um, uh, Hokora does participate effectively in the shared services arrangement. Um, what we've tried to do is be transparent about the value of some of those um, services that are accessed out of the council group. As James said, the, the HR support, the payroll support, the financial support and what have you, that's um, very substantially sourced from within council's existing offering. So effectively they're party to the, to the um, group arrangement. The, um, the accommodation costs, and I'm aware there's some interest and sensitivity around this, um, my understanding is that um, those accommodation arrangements were made in direct liaison with our, um, our property department. That lease expires next year and will be subject to some discussion at, you know, in the lead up to that time. Okay, look, that's good to hear that we look at the, the accommodation, um, you know, the real estate costs next year. I'll leave th that one. So have we seen a number um, 
that um, where we benefit um, by X dollars um, by Hukura's participation in shared services? Have we seen a number anywhere? Is that in the service level agreement? I know we're not discussing that here today, but I'm saying it's related. We, we haven't quantified the, the margin, the difference, if you like, between what it would cost them were they not party to those shared services arrangement and them being in there. What well, we've done is quantify, um, all we've done is quantify um, approximately the value of the service they get. So we would have to do some more work on that to understand if, if they were. I, I, having looked, um, as you will understand, because of the CCO arrangements that are unfolding there, we've looked extensively at the group benefits of shared services. So I could confidently say there is a benefit in them being in the tent, um, just as there will be for, for CCOs to look at things at a group level. OK, just a quick close on that one, Mayor. Just when we next discuss, um, there's probably going to be a report sometime on shared services. Can we just um, have a look at how that part of our organisation is you know, sharpening things up um, on, the, on the shared services note, I mean? Yep. Uh, yes, yes, we can. And point of interest, we're, we're um, very close to having business cases done to uh, establish the value of um, those shared services offerings, um, bringing the CCOs in. Thank you for that. You'll be pleased to know that I've even got the museum vaguely interested in sharing office space after many years. I know it's, it's nice to see that the Hukura have managed to reduce their requirements this year. It'd be nice if our CCOs did that, who are the next things up. But we have one final question from Councillor Walker. And there may be some CCOs that we could trim even further. Maybe we don't need some of them, but that's another issue. Um, I've got a few, uh, few questions. There was an independent review of the uh, remuneration that's mentioned in the report. Is, is that available, James? Yes, I'm happy to share that with you. OK, that'd be great. Um, the other question I've got um, just goes to attendance. In the case of councillors, and I don't know about local board members, there's a record kept of our uh, attendance at meetings and um, workshops that's reported. I think it's publicly available. Is there any... Um, accountability in that respect in terms of the IMSB, the Independent Maori Statutory Board? It's not an accountability um, matter other than, I suppose, to you, you know, of interest to yourselves and the public, but there can be transparency around members' attendance at these meetings. It's a matter okay. of record. So if, if there was um, an interest on the part of the public, is it the sort of thing we could we could um, make available? Well, the uh, attendance, if you're referencing uh, um, participation in council's meetings, the attendance is a matter of public record, yes. OK. And part of the reason I reference that is the remuneration, if I read it, is based on 70% of a councillor's remuneration, quite obviously, as councillors, we attend a whole raft of uh, meetings across any number of um, um, committees. Uh, my understanding in respect of the IMSB members is there might be one member that attends one meeting um, a month. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, maybe there's more than that. Um, and I don't think anybody attends workshops much. So. Um, uh, it would be useful to have some reference point back to the remuneration and, and attendance. I don't know whether the, whether the remuneration report you mentioned covers any, any of those details. It doesn't? I can't recall exactly how much detail it goes to on, off the top of my head. But. Oh, okay. If I, if I might, um, I've been uh, messaged to confirm that um, Hokora tables an accountability report every year, um, their annual report. It does contain a summary of their attendance uh, at meetings, so I'd refer councillors to that. 
I imagine they go to a lot of Marais as well. Um, now, under standing orders, we have to stop after three hours. And I was hoping to squeeze in the next one, but um, due to some of those last questions, we're not able to do that. So at this stage, I'm going to move that we accept the recommendation with regard to Hukura Independent Mole Restrictory Board funding. And it'll be... Are you going to second that? She wants to make a comment. Oh, good. I well, better be a quick one because we're going to stop for lunch in a minute. Comment, please. Um, yeah, so I support this. I guess I just wanted to indicate a bit of disappointment in the, um, the approach from some of my colleagues. We don't provide this, we don't go into this level of detail about a lot of our other funding agreements. Um, and I do feel that in the, the um, broader political context that we're asking these questions in, we need to be mindful that um, Māori are in a situation of um, being under some assault in some some spaces. And uh, so people watching and listening uh, will take uh, an approach to this that is different from approaches to non-Māori parts of the organisation uh, and potentially view that poorly. So um, I just wanted to fly that flag for a moment and I strongly support um, continuing to fund this and funding it at the level in the agreement. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you and would like to echo the comments of Councillor Ferry. The other thing is, yeah, just I was surprised and I think I could have obviously have congratulated that they didn't ask for more budget, they actually slightly less this year. Um, they are technically, if you look at their um, expenses compared to other parts of the council, they're quite a slim operation. They provide a, a good um, part of our, important part of our council because we don't have Māori seats and they also, um, I think, support us at committees very well. The other thing is, and I've asked for it in the past, it would be good if we had um, attendance for our workshops um, reported as well, but um, that, that has been opposed in the past by councillors, so thank you. Thank you for that. Well, I'm happy to move this. Uh, it's been seconded by Councillor Ferry, and I'm going to move that we put that at the moment. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. To the contrary. Carried. Thank you very much. I see that the uh, ladies in charge of the next item have arrived, but so has one o'clock, and I am told by Sandra with an R that after three hours we must have a break. So we're going to have a break, and you'll have to come back in... 20 minutes, can we do 20 minutes today, otherwise? How about half past? Yeah, yeah, well, those of you who just can't control yourself from speaking, you can go to half past, but some of us would like to go at 20, but... Half past, then, okay. <laughs>